Hello everyone and welcome once again to the channel as every Friday. Last week I uploaded a concise review on what it is like to fly American Airlines long haul in economy class. Today I'm going to do something similar but with American's domestic economy class experience. If you don't want to miss the other video, I'll link it above and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy and find this video useful. Anyway, let's get started. I flew American 737-800 from Miami to New York JFK, which is a route uniting two of their hubs. It can be considered a domestic short-haul flight, but anyway, I've flown them some years ago on a transcontinental flight and the service is pretty much the same. So, I'll start by mentioning some pre-flight things such as the seat reservation, which is free for the standard seats of course. If you want a preferred seat forward in the cabin or an extra legroom one, you'll have to pay extra. Moreover, in domestic segments, drop luggage is not included in American. I think they charge $30 for each of the first two pieces or something of the sort, but as our flight was part of an international itinerary, we were not charged. So, once you have checked in and cleared the security controls, you'll find that American divides their boarding process in nine groups. The first four are for priority, including of course the business class passengers and status holders, and the five groups remaining are for the economy class passengers. The cabin on this 737 is really nice and seems to be equipped with one of the newer interiors. It is different to the one featured on the A321s, for example, and in my opinion, it is more modern and nicer. The seat features a magazine rack, a device holder so that you can be comfortable while streaming their in-flight entertainment. An adjustable tray table, and a seat pocket with the rest of the in-flight literature and space to store your own items. Furthermore, it features a universal power outlet, of which there is one per seat, and a USB port as well. The legroom is quite good, I would say. You may have noticed that the seat does not feature an in-flight entertainment screen. In the aircraft that are not equipped with those, there is still the possibility to stream American in flight entertainment from your device. The selection of movies is good, though I couldn't find any music. There were some TV shows as well. The system, I would say that for a two hour and a half flight, it is okay. In fact, I didn't even use it. Let's come over to the soft product now. In domestic routes which are not that short, American serves complimentary drinks and snacks. In this particular flight, they served biscuit cookies and they went for some kind of Sprite as a drink. However, you might be served little pretzels or other snacks of the sort. Moreover, if you want something else, there is a buy on board menu with a decent selection and prices which are expensive of course, but are not that bad overall. Okay guys, so there it is, a concise review of American's domestic experience in economy class. Of course, this may vary depending on which aircraft operates your flight, mainly because of the seats and the in-flight entertainment which if the aircraft you fly is equipped with screens, will probably be the same as the long haul entertainment system. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the future uploads, which next up I'll be posting some terminal tours. And after that, we'll have to wait to see when I'm able to fly again. I had a trip to the United Kingdom planned for last month, but for obvious reasons, it was cancelled, I don't even know for when yet. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching until the end and hope to have you back in the channel soon. On to the next one!